So let's face it, my wrecking ball vehicle sucked. Back up a little bit and then rotate. And let's see, is this going to destroy the building? Oh. <laughs> But maybe this one from the Steam Workshop is going to work a little bit better. In fact, it most definitely will. Welcome to Instruments of Destruction. This vehicle right here is Pointy McStabberson. I've downloaded it from the Workshop, which, by the way, you can now get anything from the Workshop. A lot of people are creating some crazy vehicles. And this is one of the first ones I've ever downloaded because before when I had the game, it wasn't even out yet. And, uh, well, there's no Workshop. But anyway, my first target is this building right here. So if you haven't seen this game before, check out the destruction. Okay, so if we just lower the stabby stuff. Whoa, here we go. All right, and then get ready and activate. Yes, look at this. Look at the destruction. That is actually incredible. And this vehicle is actually very, very useful. And I'm going to be checking out quite a lot today. And they get even more crazy. Wait, is that an explosive barrel? Can I, uh, can I hit that? Let me find out. Here we go. Hit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. And that's that building totaled. A pretty small building to start off with. I wonder if this thing can float. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it can't. So there are missions to complete in this game, but I just want to play the sandbox. And this right here is called the Super Stealth Tank. And oh... Oops, I don't really know how to control it just yet because a lot of vehicles have their own unique controls. And, uh, well, I just need to get used to each individual one. But I think if I press Y, the turret comes out. Look at that! Yes! All right, so let's send the tank in and let's just destroy whatever we can. See if this vehicle is any good. Oh, my! I just realized that bridge almost collapsed on us. Couldn't take the weight. All right, let's go for this building here first. Oh, okay. You know what? That's pretty good. Oh, missed that one. All right, let's keep going. Not sure if this is the best vehicle to use on this map or not. There seems to be quite a bit of hills and uh, it is struggling quite a bit. So you can extend the turret as well, as you can see at the top there. I, uh, I think it's fair to say we need to restart. You know what? I reckon the turret is actually capable of taking down the buildings from all the way over here. So let's just stay where we are and shoot with the turret. Ready, aim, and fire. Uh, okay. I think we did a little bit of damage and that's all. I think we're pretty lined up and let's fire. Okay, no, lower. Yes, come on. Oh, so close. Oh, it's very difficult to actually land an accurate shot on the building. Oh, oh, yes. There we go. See, we don't need to move at all. We can just keep firing these cannonballs, whatever they are, and just destroy everything from here. Wait, can we just... Oh my, we can just spam it. <laughs> Well, that makes things a little bit easier, I guess. Okay, there we go. I wonder if we can actually hit the building really far away in the distance there. Oh, all right. Well, I'm just going to put the turret away. If I could put it back in, it's uh, <laughs> it's not really working out. Oh, no. I'm destroying my own vehicle here. That'll do. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh, oops. All right, we should, we should probably move on. See you later, tank. And now <laughs> we're getting this thing in. I don't even know what this is. Pulverizer heavy rail? Oh, all right. You know what? Let's give this a go. All right, what are the controls? Uh, let's see. Have I got chainsaws on the front there? Oh, so we can raise that up. Q and E. Oh, here we go. Okay, and oh, oh, ho -ho! that's cool. Okay, I think I figured out how to use this. We can also bring stuff towards us by the looks of it. So if I get a little closer to this wall. Yep, there we go. Oh, okay. And uh, oh, I'm taking down the whole wall. Uh, release. There we go. This thing is actually really, really cool. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to line up a shot on the building over there. And we're going to see how much damage we can do with the cannonball we've got. Okay, so step one, we need to not press that. We need to get it ready. There we go. I think that's doing it. And then we press E. No. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay, no, it's the other way. Oh. Oops. And fire. Oh, that's so cool. You know, this is such a satisfying game to play. And I love the fact that's got a workshop. I mean, <laughs> there's just so much to check out now. This might be the best one I've used today so far. And we can spam it as well, just like the tank before. Yeah, what a beast. Check this thing out. 
And now moving on to the next vehicle, I have here a working crane. A working crane, which I have no idea how to use. Okay, so maybe if I just drive forward a little bit, there's some containers inside right over there. So maybe if I just go ahead and try and pick them up. Okay, that's, so that's how you go forward. Ooh, let's get the controls up. Okay, so... Uh, oh, whoa, what the... Wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay, I've lowered the legs. So now we are in a good position somewhat. Ah! What is that? <laughs> oh no! What am I doing? How do we how do we bring it up? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh uh. I think I'm breaking the chain here. Uh, do I need to release it somehow? Ah, there. <laughs> there we go. Uh the question is, what are we gonna pick up? Because I've pretty much destroyed everything. Oh man, I am so bad at using this crane. Uh so yeah, usually cranes are for building structures, and I have done the opposite here and completely ruined everything. I mean, this is instruments of destruction, so I I guess you know that's that's what i'm here for so uh and yeah, there we go might as well take down the entire building all right there we go but anyway we should probably try and learn how to use the crane correctly so the legs are down we're in position now i'm gonna pick up a container over there which is actually too far away why won't it pick up the pillar am i pressing the wrong button oh yes i am <laughs> All right, you know what? This crane is fantastic at causing destruction. I mean, I've kind of got it working right. You know, it's, it's all being welded to, to the thing there. So the wench should... Uh, okay, remind me to never be a crane operator. Woo! Might as well go in and just <laughs> finish the job. So, of course, it's not just workshop models you can get. You can also just get some from the base game itself. So, I've got here a pretty basic excavator, and I'm sure it's going to do quite a bit of damage. It's very simple to use as well. So, let's see if we can just go ahead and demolish these buildings right here. Let's see how well this works, shall we? And here we go. All right. So far, so good. Because it's such a simple design, this, it means I can just get in there and start destroying it a lot more quicker compared to the crane. Oh, look at this. Yes, it's beautiful. Ah. Oh, that's not beautiful. Hang on a minute. Can I flip? Boom. There we go. And fly! Woohoo! <laughs> I do like the fact you can actually just fly in this game. That's pretty fun. Now, let's destroy the largest tower on the map, which is this thing right here. You know what? I reckon if we just turn into it, I think that might be the easiest way to destroy it. Yep, looking good so far. Come on, take down the building. Yes. Uh, come on. Yes, I got it. It's going down. Woo! There it goes. Oh, that's epic. Boom. Destruction. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I could just do this as well. Just literally ram right into the buildings. I'm not sure if vehicles can take damage in this game. It doesn't seem like it right now. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. I have not played much of this game at all. But so far, I'm having a pretty good time. Now it's time for me to customize a vehicle. So I've got this weird train thing right here. I'm going to go ahead and lower it. Wait, why is the hook staying up there? Uh, either way, doesn't matter. So we're just going to modify this one and hopefully make it a little stronger. So let's go over here. We're going to change the rotation strength of this to, I think, three. I think that's the highest it goes up to. And uh, I wonder if we can modify the hook. So instead of it being a hook, maybe we could have a wrecking ball, a balloon. Why would we want a balloon? Here you can see all the stuff we can use to actually build a vehicle. Uh, but obviously, we're not going to start from scratch. And it's, ooh, spiky mini. Uh, that's a little, wait, why? Uh, I want a large. I want a large mi mini spiky mini spiky thing. Um, I mean, it, it, you know, it could work. Oh, unless unless we try the wrecking ball and add spikes. Uh, oh, turns out you can't do that. Okay, so we now have the wrecking ball in place. Uh, let's see. Can we add spikes to the wheels or anywhere else where I can do just a bit of extra damage and destruction to the buildings? I mean, we, we could add a spike to the back. Now let's make sure this thing actually works. Okay, so here's a wrecking ball. And hopefully we should spin around pretty fast now. Yeah, oh, that might be a bit too much, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, you can tell this is the first vehicle I've customized. Maybe if we just try to stay in control. Bro, we might just get away with this. So let's go ahead and lower this back up a little bit and then rotate. And let's see, is this going to destroy the building? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is pathetic. Okay, we're back up. Okay, here we go. Go! Yes! <laughs> yes! Go, Wrecking Ball! Destroy everything. Oh, boy, this is weird. Okay, nope. We might need to fly a little bit. Whee! 
Look, now I'm a helicopter. Can you make planes in this? I don't think you can yet. That would be pretty cool, though. Planes and helicopters. I'd love to see that. All right, wrecking ball time. Take down the tower again. <laughs> It's so weird. We definitely need a heavier base to stop it from swinging all over the place. Come on, Wrecking Ball. You can do better than this. You were designed to wreak havoc. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, the tower's going down. Yes, perfect. So let's face it, my Wrecking Ball vehicle sucked. But maybe this one from the Steam Workshop is going to work a little bit better. In fact, it most definitely will. Okay, so first we need to somehow... <laughs> get through this uh so what else can this thing do we got like chainsaws on the front whoa look at what the also is this vehicle from something okay this is insane all right let's just go for it and just try and get through <laughs> struggling already right we're through come on use the wrecking balls oh man you know what this vehicle is actually super strange and it's getting tangled as well no come on uh, yes that's one of the towers down keep spinning keep spinning come on come on oh boy look at that yes the chainsaws on the front or wherever they are seem to be doing pretty good too whoa look at this yo look at the destruction hey that was pretty epic whoa i just realized i got cannons oh, holy how did i do that Woo! <laughs> Feel like I knew that earlier. Kind of looks like I'm transforming. Oh, look at that. Of course, we can go higher up. Really should have read the controls before driving this thing. But, uh, well, here we are. <laughs> We've done enough damage anyway, let's face it. Woo! Now, I have a very strong feeling that this vehicle right here is going to be very overpowered. So let's just break this down. And I think all we have to do to activate it is press E. Yep. Okay, there we go. It's just basically drawing everything in and destroying everything. I think if we press Q, it then sends it flying outwards. Maybe. Oh, no, that's even worse. Oh, there we go. So this vehicle right here might be the most overpowered vehicle that I've downloaded today because it's just so simple to use. You just get close to wherever you want to destroy. And then you literally just press one button and everything is destroyed. So yeah, this thing is extremely powerful. All right, here we go again. Look how easy it is. <laughs> It just makes it so simple. Oh, man. I actually love this thing right here. This is so good. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!